guys understand? Nations of kings and priests. What would the acronym be there? No cap. Their acronym is no cap. These scriptures like a road map. Picture perfect Kodak. Alabama folding chair upside your head. Hold that. Remember Moses and them two Egyptian soldiers. Don't, Don't let me go, go back. Hats off. Nations of kings and priests. No cap. That's that's, that's nice. You sure about that? I'll give you guys props for that. What you say about us, vocab? Truth is out. Deuces out. Now they got the nooses out. Israel like the sand of the sea. Who can count us? Who can doubt the most high? You can try. You can found in your Howard Shire life rap Christ can save you from drowning Save you from you And you and you from losing Psalms 94 Who gon' rise against the evil doers? The chosen still lost The whole world is clueless The suffering that pertains to this issue We are not Jewish Romans 9 and 4 If you need more The most high's influence They telling hella lies, the revolution won't be televised They missing Maccabees, they don't know we was Hellenized Look me in my eyes, Jeremiah 23 and 21 The most high didn't tell your pastor to prophesy Don't make no mistake, Colossians 2 and 8 Let no man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit Last days, knowledge increased, we see it in the book of Daniel We in the information age and we got all this damn data The devil in the details tell you the details don't matter they Move the goalpost so many times they put the goalpost backwards. You entitled to your own opinion, but not your own set of facts. Uh, Satan, I see how you all in our conversation, but no prophecy of the scriptures, even any private interpretation. If the kingdom for every nation, why is 12 gates then? 21 and 12 in the book of Revelation. If the kingdom for every nation, why is 12 gates? And the people shall take them and bring them to their place in the land of the Lord for some. Servants and handmaids, I got something, I got something new for y'all today. All praises. I'm going to start right now, but I got something new for y'all. You know why? Because I'm in the giving mood today. I'm in the giving mood today. Man, this is fire. So y'all just watch, watch this. Watch this, y'all. Watch this, y'all. Book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 4. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Always it seems we ain't done enough. Babylon, Babylon the great fallen. Revelation 18, sum it up. One nation of kings and priests. What you call it? Jacob coming up. A chosen race. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. Identity crisis. I am not just another nigga on the plantation. Yet they should think themselves in the land and repent and make supplication. Turn back from my wicked ways. Turn away from a reckless nature. No more thugs and thieves. One nation of kings and priests. We know the beast is the hardest in of our many wars. No more thoughts on the least one nation of kings and priests And regardless of the market We know the target audience from Babylon to Timbuktu To the auction block They try all we not promote Nobody wanna know Blue This is fire See that? Now watch this I got another one fire I'm in the giving mood today I'm in the giving mood today. Watch this. You hear them trying to call us a hate group. Whoa. Ain't nobody hating. They just hate to be exposed. Many are called, but very few are chosen. That's in order to prophecy, and that's just how it goes. Thus said the Lord, these ain't my words, the scriptures told us. Add it all up, prophecy tell you the total. 
seen it and explained everything from head to toe. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream where he seen a giant statue. Daniel interpreted everything the way it happened. Call it a coincidence cause you don't think it matters. But when you truly clueless, I guess you don't see the patterns when things that change. Times and laws and you don't know they change the calendar. You don't even know your own nationality. Twelve tribes worldwide all around the globe. You hear them call his hate speech. You should be appalled. Doomed to those that call evil good and good evil. Graven images and idols. I'm just reading out the Bible. I ain't write it. I'll recite it. Yes, you can hold me liable. Zechariah 13 and 9 through the fire. And we'll refine them as silver is refined. And we'll try them as gold is tried. Yahweh Bashem Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Choose the commandments, choose life, you decide. Anything else, nothing less than that is suicide. It's high time to awake. All praises, all praises. I want to give Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bahasham Raka Akwadash. All right, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto the Most High God for another uh, day to be alive and to serve Him the way He wants to be served. We believe in the Bible. The whole Bible is true. Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. All right. Um, this is not necessarily a class, however, I wanted to. Um, make y'all aware and give you some details on the summit that will be coming here in tampa florida right uh hold on a second let me share my screen all right Where you at? Where you at? All right, here we go. Now that looks very small. Let me see if I can do something about that. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we Salakia. All right. Now we don't want this. What's going on here? Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. So this is the 20th Hebrew Summit. All right. Mashara Yasha Allah. The Salakia. The Mashara Yasha Allah. Now, this is uh this is not your typical uh summit right and we are honored that the elders gave us uh the charge to host it no cat will be hosting the 20th hebrew summit now um to you so-called blacks hispanics and native indians of negroid and indian descent baba kasha come to the summit it will be held in tampa sunny may i add sunny hot as hell tampa florida all right um you know this is a very important summit con all praises i all praises to the most high yeah man i i, I pray uh i pray everybody makes it man honestly well what's the intention why come to the summit right we're going to discuss that a little bit however a little bit of information what to expect you know what to um you know what what's the summit about you know what i'm saying because you could come to something but i don't not necessarily know what it's about um what the uh, uh what the intention of the summit is you know what I'm saying? And that that's that's one thing that um you know is it, it definitely needs to be discussed too. What's the intention of the summit? You know? So um if y'all don't know, the summits are ho are 
hosted by the elders and Shatarium of Mashara Yasha Allah. Yeah, let me share my screen. As soon as I can share it. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Mashara Yasha Allah. All right, this is their website. If you haven't been to a summit, what have you been doing? If you had not been to a summit, what have you been doing? And if you haven't been to a summit in a long time, I, I definitely recommend it. All right. What is the government of Israel? Y'all get so scared when y'all see this thing. You know, the government of Israel. Let me tell y'all something. Uh, like Shai said, he uh he who is greatest among you shall be your greatest servant man you know and that's the spirit behind mashra yasha Allah, is the servant yasha Allah, serving the nation like typically you know we, we, you know the 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 recommendation of you know a government is to serve its people. That's what this is about. It's about serving the people, serving Yasha Allah. You know, it's not about just getting together and doing nothing. It's also about a government structure, um, ability to serve the nation. You, we, we, we're a Yahawashai is king is the governor i was just talking with a brother on the phone and our instructions are in the bible it teaches us how to walk how to how to how to you know how to serve each other how to serve elders how to how to how the elders should serve the younger the, these are instruct i mean we got the ultimate instructor in yahweh shai and his words in the bible you know, so the instructions, the blueprint, it are there. You know, so we we have what we need here. And in addition, we have the spirit. Right. So if you haven't been to a summit, um, this was the last one. Um, your boy, unfor unfortunately, was not able to make it to the summit. Let me. Uh, so like, yeah. And Ezra blessed the Most High, the great power, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, Amen. with lifting up their hands, and they bowed their heads and worshiped the Most High with their faces to the ground. Okay. So you know we we do classes um, at the summit. Here's the one in Houston. It was a beautiful uh, turnout in Houston. Uh, this is a bad video here. Well, let me uh. Now, uh, fast forward right quick. In this, I believe that there was Ahithophel right, counseling go. King David because Ahithophel was his top advisor. Okay, so unfortunately, it's, it's, uh, you're not able to see the whole, the whole council. You just see Karash Isaiah's head and a little bit of the elders there, but it was actually very nice video here. Um, and this is a this is a, also very important right here is the dialogue uh between the elders may may, may, I, may I let let me let me um what what do they say uh i like to i like to say something about these 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 brothers here all right if you don't know who your elders are this is who they are right if i may if i may all right so now um all the way to your left this brother right here with the bucket hat all right his name if you don't know who he is his name is zaquan 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 right um now Saquon, Saquon, and Salakia, if, if, if I get been in the truth for over 30 years, uh, back in one West, however, um, brother definitely deserves double honors as an elder. 
However, what makes this brother great is his brotherhood. Just a you know very sincere brother. And to me personally, this is my my personal uh, 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 opinion. One of the greatest speakers in Israel. Period. I mean, the brother just just magical man when it comes to te- you want you want to you want to really uh, understand how to teach. Uh, look at one of this brother's videos, man. I mean, the brother is sharp. Sharp as can be, man. You know what I'm saying? Just just sharp. Then uh, right next to him, you got Brother Ash. Now, if you, so like, uh, back to Zaquan. Zaquan is from uh, um, uh, Yahweh's camp. This is about, uh, Elder Ash. Elder Ash from HODC, uh, House of David. Another brother from One West. Um, and uh, another brother who needs no introductions, but definitely a brother that has paid his time. But in in addition to him, it, it's like in addition to Zaquan, Ash as well, just one of them brothers you could sit down and just chop it up with and have a great conversation and just a great example in Yasha Allah, right? And then the brother next to him, probably needs no introduction, but that's brother, uh, so like an elder, <laughs> brother Barack, uh, who is uh, uh, another mighty, mighty brother that you can learn from. Uh, uh, basically everything from, you know what I'm saying? Everything from classes to uh, uh, how to hold camp. Also how to run your camp, right? How to run your camp, <laughs> you know? How many of how many scattered camps do we have that have no elders? Well, here you go. These are, these are elders who are willing and able to help, right? And I guarantee you, they will help you. I know because... I was one of the brothers who, you know, came up to them and asked for help, right? So let's continue. And now, brother next to him, me personally, one of my favorite elders, Elder Ben, or, or, or sorry, Elder Ben Yum Yum, or Elder Ben, like like brothers like to call him, Elder Ben Yum Yum, just, you know, chop it up with the brother. Again, just the history, the wisdom, just man, his breakdowns, man, are cold, absolutely cold. And I'm talking about, you know, milk turning into meat cold, if you know what I mean. Just the brother is is just, just, just. I can't say any 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 more about him. Just 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 beautiful brother, and um, great example, right? Who's pushing the truth and and continues to 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 push to this day. Right, the brother next to him, uh, Salakia. Salakia, yep. So, uh, the brother next to Elder Ben Yum Yum is Elder Raka, another mighty brother that um, I, I just met um, about a year ago, I believe. Uh, another brother that is is very mighty in this truth, and and um, I, I caught up with a few of his classes, man, and and I, I learned I learned a lot from them, you know. So de- definitely uh, another mighty brother. Um, and then my brother, right next to him, right, um, the mighty Kratazah Labraam, uh, also from the house of David, uh, just mighty brother, man, that, that, that dude right there is just, will greet you, uh, with joy, will hug you, and, um, just a mighty brother right there, man, uh, all praises to the Most High for, for elders like this, and then obviously another one that needs no introduction, Elder Matatawa, Holding it down, uh, our, our our beloved uh, elder uh, uh, Benjamin Elder from uh, that lives in Ghana now, and has a camp out there, and is uh, you know doing his thing, and man, just really, but really, again, th- th- this is what this is the the brothers that are here to serve you. In addition, you have your Shatarium Council, your officers council, 
who's here to serve you, right? So, well, well, you say, well, bam, what what can they serve us in, man? I know everything. Well, okay, if you know everything, well, then they can not to be done. Well, we do councils, we do um, certificates of validation of camps, right? Camp etiquette. These are things that we um, we are implementing in the Shatarium Council uh, to help Yasha Allah as a whole um, as we go deeper into, you know, prophecy of the year. We got to get ourselves prepared, man. So, you know, de definitely um, something to look at, man. You know what I'm saying? And again, um, guidance from elders are always needed, man. You know, as a matter of fact, real quick, uh, let me grab that. Let me grab First Peter's, I believe. I believe it's First Peter's. Let me make sure. Yep. Okay. So, okay, con, con, con. This is a First Peter's, chapter five and verse one. The elders which are among you. Right, which tell you what? That they're elders that are among you, right? This is Peter talking to the elders that are among, you know, um, the churches of the Israelites there, you know? And he's saying, the elders that are among you, I exhort who am, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. I'm going to say it again, not by constraint. I'm going to say it again, not by constraint. Okay? That's the way an elder is supposed to be. But what willingly not for filthy lucre but of ready mind neither as being lords over the heritage but being examples to the flock if i may if i may there's also other elders that will be showing up as well and beloved elders that have been um inter uh, were an integral part in my walk in this truth again you know willingly <laughs> You know, that they weren't lords. Or they became brothers to me and elders that I could rely on. And you know what? They're out there, Yasha Allah. You know, we think that we got it all figured out. Well, man, sometimes you don't. And it takes the experience of an elder brother to help you. I know from experience. So, you know, sometimes you got to you got to take rebuke. I've had to take rebuke and I've had to shut the hell up and take it and accept it and maybe at the time of rebuke i didn't understand it right maybe the, the the time of the rebuke i didn't understand it however you have to trust in the lord and the lord will prevail and we're allowed to because the lord ain't dealing with pride the lord's dealing with humility i'm gonna say it again the lord is not dealing with pride the Lord is dealing with humility. Right? Okay. So now feeding feeding the flock, neither being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. It is extremely important to be a good example to the flock. As a matter of fact, it is a commandment. What commandment? This one right here. Right? Well, this is just an epistle that Peter wrote to the Israelites. Well, didn't Peter give, uh, was it, didn't Christ give Peter the keys? Yes, he did. In addition, didn't Peter, didn't Yahawashai leave Peter as the rock? Yes. Okay, and then if Christ's words aren't they law as well? Let's see. 
since you want to go with Torah all the time, which is fine. But anything that Yahweh Shai says is law. And I will raise this is Deuteronomy 18 and 15. And the Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. Verse 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Verse 19. Let me highlight this for you. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Yes, Yahawashai's words is Torah, is law, period. I don't have to go there, but you know what I'm saying? So, Khan. Um, so now, let's go back. This was the 17th Hebrew Israelite Summit. All right. All right. Here we I think this was the one in Houston. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. So like in Dallas. This was the one in Dallas. There. I was not there. This is the 16th. Right. 15th. I think I was in this one. This one was huge. Was it an ATL? I believe. Oh, yeah. Look at me right there. I was sitting next to uh, B beloved elder Karash. So now, um, remember, a lot of what we do and what we teach is educational. Uh, for example, at this particular summit, if I may, if I may, I believe it was two thousand and one, and it was during you know the time of COVID, and you know it was uh, during the time of of you know uh, take take the jab take the shot and mashraya sha'ala had their stance on it you know and our stance was that there were unclean things in there here we are a family uh what is it we're december 2023 and all praise to the most high um a lot of a lot of that was correct through the spirit, right? So as you can see in, in Salaki, I don't know if allows us to to go through there, but uh, was it was a mighty, mighty summit? Let me see if I could forward this a little bit. And I was not planning on sitting there on stage with the elders, and but I, I you you uh, you take orders. And you uh, <laughs> you apply those orders, right? So, anyways, th th you know th this is part of the uh, um, you know mini summit. Um, you learn a lot. You uh, you definitely uh, uh, you know see the the, the unity, right? So I mean these these are these are things uh, beautiful things, man. You know, uh, we also hold camp. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna put him out there, uh, but uh, believe let's see here. This is uh, this I believe is in Virginia, the summit in Virginia, and uh, Elder Barack is speaking. Here, uh, let me see who else. Oh, uh, Elder Ben. Uh, no, 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 Salakia. This is a Quan. My bad. This is a Quan speaking. Karatazal Abraham. They're speaking. All right. Let me let me check what else here. All right. Let me check what else we can get into. I won't be long, family. This is just 
I want to just uh, go through a couple things. Oh, um, this was the 14th summit with my brothers, the VLOZ, Light of Zion. All right, the Light of Zion, they will be here because they family and we in Florida. So shout out to the, the Light of Zion. All right. Shout out to the Light of Zion. And look who this brother is. Who is this brother? Who the hell is this brother, brother here? The days of our years are three score years and ten. Why is he teaching? <laughs> so like it. That's that's your brother right there. Um, you know, uh, all praise to the Most High. Uh, believe it or not, um, this here is. Um, in 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 miami beach miami beach uh i'm originally from miami um i did a lot of dirt there man i did a lot of dirt a lot of things i wasn't supposed to be doing uh when i was younger and um i repented from those things came back to the lord and you know uh repented from my my doings uh gave up those things and uh here i am years later um you know preaching the word to the israelites you know in, in that street so you know miracles do exist and that is a miracle a brother uh, brothers like ourselves can repent and come back to the lord you know what i'm saying so all praises to yahweh shimmy you know what i'm saying so um with that like I said, I wasn't going to be long. However, we're going to go back over here to the summit, right? So we want y'all to be there. This is the Hebrew Israelite Summit. Now, uh, tickets. You need tickets. However, this is a four-day event, family. A four-day event. Day one is a meet and greet. All right. Day two is Unity Camp in Ybor City. All right. Ybor City. Um, day three is the summit. Now, we're going to be doing classes. You're going to be learning stuff. When you go to the summit, you will be learning different stuff. What are you learning? All right. You're learning Paleo Hebrew. You're learning history and you're learning burial classes. Okay. Burial is what? Y'all die, right? Y'all family members who die, you die. Well, there's a Hebrew custom on how we buried each other. You're going to learn that and resources to do so, right? Day four is a barbecue at a beautiful park in sunny Tampa, Florida, right? Now, um, to purchase your tickets to purchase your tickets. We are we um we are asking for $25. All right. Let me share my screen here. Uh 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 uh, uh. stop sharing. You want to go to Eventbrite, as you can see it right here in the screen. Right? Eventbrite. In Eventbrite, you will type in Mashra Yasha Allah. You see here in the search box, you're going to type it in there. Here, let me, let me show you. So let's say you go to Eventbrite, right? So this is Eventbrite. I'm at the main page. You're going to, on the search box, You're going to type in Mashra Yasha Allah, and you're going to type in the city Tampa, Tampa, Florida. You're going to click and then look, boom, top matches right here. You're going to see us right there, Mashra Yasha Allah, 20th Hebrew Israelite Summit. You're going to click on that. Now, as you can see, it's either $25 or 50 bucks. 
I'm telling you, $25 or $50, $25 per person. Oops, so like you. Okay, there we go. $25 per person or $50 per family. How, how many of the family? It, it don't matter. 50 bucks. And then donations are, are taken there as well. All right. It's going to be fun. Don't miss it. Kahaloi Habashim Yawashai. Want to give uh, all praises to the Most High God. His only begotten son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who died for the nation of Israel. All right. With that, we're going to say Shalom.